Fitting glazing bar caps. Select the appropriate glazing bar top cap by matching its number with the corresponding glazing bar number. Prior to installing the glazing bar top caps, the top cap rubber gasket must be lubricated with a solution of mild soapy water or a silicone spray. This will allow the top cap to spread more easily during installation. Use a glazing mallet or similar plastic surfaced mallet to knock on the glazing bar top caps, starting at the top and working down the glazing bar towards the eaves beam. When the glazing bar top cap is attached, ensure that the bottom face of the top cap is aligned with the bottom face of the glazing bar. Remove the protective film from the glazing bar top cap. Now, fit the remainder of the roof glazing sheets and glazing bar caps in the same way as previously described. Fitting glazing bar end cap. When the glazing bar top caps are attached, you need to close the end of the glazing bar with the glazing bar end cap. The glazing bar end cap is attached to the glazing bar by two 3.9 by 19 mm yellow screws. Sit the lip of the end cap over the top cap and locate the top screw through one of the plastic washers supplied and into the port in the glazing bar. Use the hole in the end cap that aligns with the bottom screw port to locate the second screw. Ensure that the screw cover caps supplied are used to hide the screws once in position. Guttering installation OG gutter support bracket should be positioned 150 mm from each corner and the remainder equally spaced. To fit the brackets, place the top of the bracket into the groove on the eaves beam. Pull the bracket downwards until it locks into place. Hang the front edge of the gutter onto the bracket and rotate up the back of the bracket as shown. Fit only to the first click. Don't push all the way up. Where there are stop ends or outlets on the gutter, you'll need gutter joint clips to fix these in place. Position the gutter joint clips over the gutter Slide up the back of the gutter until the hooks engage over the gutter. Pull up the front of the joints and clip over the gutter. Once the clips are in place, you can push the gutter up into its final position. With the gutter and clips in place, you can now fit the downpipes and brackets. You'll need to cut the round downpipe into two lengths and join them together by use of the downpipe bends to allow the round downpipe to sweep over the sill and down the dwarf wall to the ground. The cut in the round downpipe is to produce two lengths that suit the height of the window frames and the dwarf wall. Push fit the downpipe onto the spigot of the stop end outlet. Connect the downpipe shoe to the base of the downpipe. Fix the downpipe in position by use of the downpipe retention clips. They can be clipped over the downpipe and fixed into position with the screws provided. Note, to ensure adequate drainage, it is important that all round downpipes supplied are fitted.